see him? No, but I just heard, oh yeah, I see him, he's on the side of the hill, he's going right to left. Hey, that gobbler working about a half hour ago. We just quickly set up about blind. I uh, woke up about an hour late, <laughs> so we were scrambling to figure out what to do and where to get set up. We had this bird roosted last night, and we just didn't have a sound set up this morning, but we're trying to figure out how to reset up, see if we can make a pass at him the second time. We took the blind down, and I knew what was going to happen. He was going to circle around and come to the call that he originally heard first thing in the morning, and he did. So now he has passed us, and we're trying to call him back, but he's still fired. Seems like he's farther now. He got us. Well, he got us today. Shit. Maybe depending on what we're gonna do if we go down soon, come try and get back before. Yeah, I was going to say, might as well get back for him. If we can hunt all day, that's one thing. Might be able to get him before he goes up in his, or at least get him pinpointed for the morning again. Damn turkeys, you think they could be so easy to kill, especially when you got them pinpointed in their roost. But dang. Heavily posted. No hunting or trespassing allowed. Except for Dean and Dave. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be good. This is what he's talking about. This drop off right here. I don't want any cows out. Well, we are here. One of our goals this year um, for us, like hunting personally, was to find a bigger piece of land in Ohio to hunt that we could eventually set some food plots on. But really, a lot of the properties that we hunt in Ohio are small 10, 15, you know, five acre little 
suburban area hunting and it's it's great but it's nice to have it's convenient but um getting out into the elements and getting into the middle of nowhere in the wilderness is there's something to be said for that so that was one of our goals for this year and we have a uh, fresh like 200 and something acres to explore and hunt we're the only ones that have permission here so that's pretty sick you're out in the we're out in it right here yeah it is quiet Southern Hills of Ohio. We're about a, we're about two hours from where we live up in Cleveland, so it's not like we're going to be hunting this spot every day, but it's going to be a cool spot. Our our goal for today is basically to walk it, learn a little bit more about it. We've been doing a lot of scouting on um, Onyx, and so we have a couple areas that we want to pick out, but we also want to set out at least three trail cameras, put out some of the Booner Max minerals, put out a little grow the bone and we'll just be able to start taking some inventory of what's around we'll and hopefully benefit their uh benefit their growing season as well help the bones get a little bit bigger just so you know i'm putting two in the gun two bolts We got the hiking boots on, and we're gonna put some miles on today. Go see what we see. Uncharted territories. That's exciting. We're also gonna be we have taking the gun for a walk. Got the cameras in the bag if for some reason we fire up a bird along the way. Gotta get some good run hunts down here, you know, all yeah. day sits. I just marked this uh, first location on, on the Onyx maps. This is a, actually, we just kicked up a deer right here, but this is a real cool area for a, maybe a mineral spot or a trail camera spot. We found a few pieces that are, you know, down here in Southern Ohio and the big road, big rolling hills. It's a completely different benches on the sides of these ridges. Just took a little breather. And just one nice thing, we got rocky boots and they keep you dry, which keeps you going. Across the creek? Did I? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that thing has to be way. You might have just donated a goose run. We walked a long way, I mean far, and we got all the way over there. And Dean realized that he did not have the gun so we've backtracked a considerable way and uh, I think we've pinpointed where he had it last literally just had to backtrack a long ways mile to get my stupid gun already sweating. I am now. If it weren't for David, I would have donated the foothills of southern Ohio. A 12 gauge goose gun. He said, he said, no, you gotta go get it. He's the boss. 
Here he comes, he found it. I got it. <laughs> and unfortunately it was in the farthest spot, spot back that I even thought it was going to be. <laughs> thought it was going to be in the closest, wasn't in the closest. Thought for sure it was going to be in the second closest, was not in the second closest. We had to go back and review the footage. Reviewed the footage all the way across the creek. We got it. Had to bring it down. Right now we're like right at the back corner of those three fields and right at the edge of this power line that basically goes all the way through the middle of the property. So when we flew the drone over, you can kind of see there's a big thicket. This whole hill seems like it's just a big thicket up here. And the top of that hill is too, but this little pinch or this little gully opens up into some hardwoods. There's a ton of trails crossing the creek down there. And this will be a tough spot to get to, but yeah, it just seems like there's a lot of sign in here. This creek bottom is is awesome. The whitetail habitat that roams back in here, but it's cool to be able to see, you know, kind of basically predict what we saw on the Onyx maps and then come back here and kind of see the terrain and see everything for ourselves. Second step in the process of trying to find and hunt new properties. Well, phase one of our scouting mission is complete. Although we got absolutely drenched and soaked. This is why Matt Klein from Exodus says don't wear denim. Because now it's weighing me down. But we found a couple spots that we want to put some trail cameras. So we're going to go do that now. We got some mineral. We got some grow the bone. Guardian lock and then Exodus. We're going to go hike her in and uh, set her down. set up today got a pretty good lay of the land and now I need a sandwich or some chicken chicken finger waffle fry <laughs> 